Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the world of home tech with me, your host, Paul Hibbert. This is the episode I shouldn't be making because it's the one that's going to make my missus go, that's how much this sh** is costing us? That's how much? Uh, I'll be in trouble. Uh, these are smart plugs from Tekken. Shameless plug. Get it? Shameless plug. Uh, not sure what they are. £10 a plug. Not actually too bad when you consider that they are not only smart, but are also going to tell you how much money you're wasting on all the cool things that you own. Uh, let's find out how much money I'm wasting. Dumb. Not dumb as in idiotic, dumb as in not smart. The reason I'm starting with this set of speakers is because I want to get a baseline as to what something should cost electricity-wise if it isn't full of stuff like um, she that should not be named capabilities and Google Home-ness. 0.6 of a watt. Very low. That's good. So thumbs up, I guess. Uh, let's switch it on and see if it makes any difference. I think that's about as loud as you would normally have it in a kitchen. We're at one and a half watts, 1.7 watts. Okay, so 1.7 watts. We have a baseline. Google Home, Google Home, riding through the Glen. Google Home, Google Home, this is gonna suck. So it's set to two and a half volts a lot of the time when just in standby, so it's already drawing a lot more power than a normal set of speakers does, even when it's not doing anything. Uh, let's see what it's like when it's playing some music at a similar volume to the Travolo. I think the Travolo was about there. So that is nearly three watts, 2.7 watts. So that is, I don't know, not that much of an increase, I guess, but an increase all the same. My comment section is usually a place of joy and laughter, but occasionally there's someone in there going, hey, this is new fair test because me 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 uh, Well, this is a fair test, jerk. Just because this is a smaller speaker than the Google Home, if I drive it to the same volume, it should consume the same level of electricity unless one is less efficient than the other. That is just science, bitch. That is science. Is that better than the Google Home? I don't know, I don't remember. Wait a moment. It is consuming less electricity than the Google Home and therefore we can safely assume it is slightly more efficient. There's hardly anything in it, it's 1.4 versus 1.6. So that's about the volume that we had the Google Home set to and we're at 4.7 at the moment. 2.5 has just gone back down again. And bizarrely enough, we're getting about the same consumption of electricity. I suppose that's to be expected. Look at this thing. So last season. This is at two. Two? What are you doing? Little hockey puck likes electricity, boys and girls. You won't have seen this coming. I'm going to plug Tekken's own plug socket into the Tekken socket and see exactly how much this costs us in electricity. When the socket is on and communicating with your network, it is actually drawing more power than an Echo Dot. That's interesting. I haven't actually yet ratified these numbers against real life to figure out whether just under a watt is loads of money or no money at all. It's probably no money at all, in which case all I'm proving here, and I hope you're listening, Nisha, is that your smart home doesn't cost you hardly anything at all. Uh, we'll find out at the end of this video. Okay, Broadlink RM Pro versus Harmony Hub, the ultimate battle and the ultimate question. So we're looking at 0.5 watts. Well done, Broadlink, well done. As bouncing around are around a watt, so this thing in itself draws about half a watt more than the Broadlink RM Pro does, but this thing ain't plugged in yet. Yowzers! 3.9 watts. More power hungry than our Echo speaker when it's playing music. You power hungry, greedy little b this is a mega, mega bright light from Zemispot, like, blind yourself ridiculously bright, so I'm expecting this one to cost quite a bit more electricity, uh, which would be interesting because this is something that you would have in your ceiling probably and turned on quite a lot of the time, so let's see what that does. 11.3! Holy moly! Uh, that's at its brightest, let's uh, turn the brightness down a little bit on it. Okay, I actually have to turn this down. I've tested this thing against the original Philips Hue lamps that I have, and I have to put it right down to like 7% for it to be at the same amount of brightness. So let's see what that's done to it. 3.1 watts, so that is quite a keen difference. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna plug in the original lamp from Philips and see if that's around three watts. 
and it is exactly the same. So if I dim this to the same brightness as uh, the Zemi Smart bulb, then we get exactly the same amount of wattage coming out of my electricity socket. So that kind of makes perfect sense and shows that there is no advantage to buying Philips Hue's original products if you can find a cheap Chinese alternative. It will cost you the same electricity regardless. One watt. Next. Excellent. One watt. Uh, and it looks like it's going to poop itself at around a watt. Finally, the IKEA hub, which I just can't stop punching. <sighs> me. Punching it probably didn't help. One watt. For every smart home hub you own, you're costing yourself for one watt of electricity, I think is the conclusion here. Uh, let's plug something else in just for fun. So we're gonna go a little bit gorilla style now with the camera and we're gonna go and try Anisha's PC, which I'm actually terrified of doing, so let's do this. This will get me some kind of YouTube Emmy, I'm sure. Oh god. Oh god, 230 263! Oh god! Jesus! This PC is doing nothing! Why is it that much electricity? To sum up today's experiment, I have good news and bad news. The good news is, all of that outrage I had for those tiny little numbers was stupid. Anyone who knows anything about electricity has been watching this video going, what a dumbass, that's like no money. Um, <laughs> they're absolutely right, we'll go into that shortly. The bad news is, and I hate this, this is the worst sentence I've ever said on camera, Nisha was right about something. Um, Nisha has been saying for years, Paul, switch the flipping PC off when you're not using it, it's a waste of money. And I always went, nah, it's like no money. Nah, it's not no money, it's quite a lot of money per year. Uh, so let's go through some of the numbers, now we've got that dirty business out of the way. Uh, so my energy tariff is 0.156 pence per kilowatt, uh, per hour. So a kilowatt is a thousand watts, which means that my electricity costs 0.00016 pence per watt per hour. Uh, so the numbers we've seen in the app is uh, a watt an hour. So if it's one, it's one watt per hour that it's costing me. So that means we can conclude, and I'm not 100% certain of this because one, I'm not a mathematician, and two, I'm learning all this for the first time, so feel free to call me a dumbass again in the comments and put me right, but my Travolo speaker could be left playing at the same volume we played today, uh, all day, every day, for the whole year, and only cost me £2.29. Who would have thought that? I always assumed that a speaker would cost you loads of money. Um, this means that the Google Home and my Echo Dot costs about £3.64 a year to play music all year long. So that's crazy. That means I could just listen to music all day, every day, all year, and that's all it would cost me. Every smart plug, it costs about one pound per year, but probably saves you loads of money in the process on the things that you've got plugged into them. So that's awesome. Uh, every smart hub you own is costing about one pound 35 per year. All of this assuming you have the same tariff I do, which you probably don't. One pound 35 a year per smart home hub. Stop moaning about getting additional hubs, who cares? Just stick them in a flipping cupboard, they're £1.35 a year. Uh, a fully fledged PC will cost you hundreds of pounds more per year than an Android set-top box um, or Raspberry Pi. So if you're going to be watching your movies on anything, watching on, <laughs> watching on an Android set-top box is going to save you hundreds of pounds per year versus a PC. Don't watch movies on a PC. I almost forgot to tell you if this is actually any good. Here, have it in your face. Uh, this is the Tekken plug we've been using today to do our energy monitoring. It is a very pretty smart plug. It looks good in the socket. It's quite similar to the Air Syrah that I showed you guys a few weeks ago. Uh, the key difference being that it is cheaper than the Air Syra, technically, because you can get four of these for £40, which means it's only £10 a socket, uh, and you can buy them independently, I think, a little bit less than this thing anyway. Uh, aside from that, it does energy monitoring on top, which this thing doesn't, but it's all the same software, so it's basically the same socket with more stuff for less money. So, we have a new winner. Please lower the crown. <laughs> That's it, I'm going to hand back to uh, him so he can finish the episode. See you later.
Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button. If you want to hang out with me, there's all this social media type stuff. And if you want to help make these videos a possibility, join these amazing people here. These guys make this possible by helping fund my channel. Uh, you can do a one-off payment at PayPal, uh, or you can join these guys every month at Patreon, giving me a small amount of money and keeping me going. Uh, that's it. I'll see you next time. Don't give me all that ee, poo, me, 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 me. <laughs> Chest wasn't fair because of bleep, bleep, bleep. Bleep, 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 bleep. Please ask the plugs, uh, the plugs, uh, sis the plugs. Sis the plugs. If I drive the speaker to the same volume, volume, that's not a word. <laughs> the good news is I... <laughs>